I am finally so sick and tired of doing this, but fuel lines are all in. Uh, I put new hose clamps on all new lines. That fuel filter that's supposed to take 10 seconds did not. So now I'm worried about doing the call overs. I don't know if you guys can really see. Oh shit, I nearly broke my camera. Jesus. But it's in there. I put some WD 40 in it. Man, this is really dark. I don't know why, but okay, there we go. That is way better. You guys can see the callovers in there. I put some WD 40 on the bottom of the callover, and this should make it uh, the bolt be easy to take off. So it's only three bolts, which is good. I'm gonna show you guys up top, right here. Oh, now I can properly show you guys that I changed that right there. You guys can see one there. And then on top of the filter as well, I did two there, two at the bottom. And now this is finally done. I put uh, oil in it as well, which is good. Uh, so I just pumped, I just dropped the whole amount of oil because it needs four point something. And then it's like 0.4 of a mil for 40 mils or 400 mils for the um, oil filter. So I just shoved it all in and, and I'll just burn off excess oil. First call over is taken out. So now I'm going to have a look at the call over. It's like I literally just opened them. They are insane. So you guys know I had to go top of the line. Of course, the MCA Pro Comforts, all stealth mode, all black. Everything is black. This is so nice. Like, look at the differences. Like, this is insane. I, I really like the all stealth look. So the reason why I went the all stealth look is just to make it look OEM and everything kind of looks stock, but you can't really tell that I have callovers in it. And these are so sick. Everything, I love MCAs. Like, I have to admit, like, I've ran BCs, TNs, Cusco's. I've ran every single brand, uh, even K-dubs, uh, even the high end of brands. And I love my MCAs and my 180. Like, my 180 drives so beautiful and my CRX as well. But this is insane. The quality is great. Oh, I'm so excited to open these boxes. So. One. Where's my knife? This one. You guys are wondering what's in the background. Philly's watching Big Brother. Hella loud, like so freaking loud. Just mute it, babe. Just mute it. You don't need to play it at. What's the volume one? No, it's not. This one. Please be enough. Because that's all I want to do right now. Perfect. Another front call over. Oh, there's something in the box. Something. Oh, yes. Brand new nuts. Perfect. Let's put these in. I am finally, not finally done. I put the two front call overs in. As you guys can see, that's right. This side, I set it to a uh, soft, three, three click soft. And they just look amazing underneath. It looks stock, which is really, really what I want which is great. I haven't lowered it yet. I'm not gonna lower it until I put the wheels back on, sort of jack it up, and then I need to put the rears on, and then sort of measure it out, see, because like, if it rakes, if it goes down like this way, and you no, know, if it's too high like this, and I lower the front, it will bring the back up as well, so I need to put it all on first, but, oh, so easy. I'm so happy. Holy shit. I don't know what fixed it, but it's fixed. I'm so freaking happy. You guys can tell that the car's not missing. You can hear it just idly, perfectly fine. I'm not actually happy with the height, so I really still need to go uh, put the callers in the rear, but listen to it. It's just purring perfectly. Oh my fucking God. I haven't been able to drive this thing for so long. Babe, how annoying was it that I wasn't able to drive this? She doesn't care. She really doesn't care how annoying. I love driving this thing because it's like the perfect car that starts every single time, works every single time, and it didn't, didn't do that for like a week or two. And now, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what I'm doing. So what I did was, I took the call over out, the brand new one, so I had a look at, okay cool, there's a cross bolt here and two bolts up top. So that's what I'm doing here. And luckily, 
uh, I have a rear strut brace in the car, so that means those bits are already cut out, so all I really need to do is just reach in, undo the two 14mm bolts on both sides, and the whole core lever should fall out. Which, I'm hoping this will take me 10 minutes, because the front honestly took me like 10 minutes at tops. 10, 15 minutes. Now, let's hope this is the same. Maybe I just jinxed myself, to be honest. Bam, and all done. Both sides are in, put the wheel back on, and then lower it down and see what it looks like. Done. Um, I readjusted the height, tightened all the lug nuts, all that kind of stuff. But what annoys me is just a little bit, it's 50 mils too high at the front. So if you guys can see here, I'm able to stick one finger in pretty easily, two not, not really. And then in the rear, I'm able to not stick anything really. So the front needs to go down just a little. I've been measuring from the bottom of the side skirt extension. So from here to here, I want it to be 12 mils, which 12 mils is, no, sorry, 12 centimeters is a uh, legal height. So I think 100 mils is what, as low as you can go legally, but any lower than that for me for the GDR is too much. At the front, it is still a bit high, but I need to clean up all this and then call it a day. Super comfortable, like nothing, crazy i actually love testing this road just because it's a long straight but with a lot of bumps in it so this uh this road here a lot of trucks take it so therefore the roads are not that great all there's bumps and stuff like that but uh closer up there's some train rails some train rails train tracks and i low-key want to go over those to see what it feels like and i'll give you guys a review oh i just hit a bump then I barely felt anything this feels insane this is what I love about MCAs. I'm so happy I spent that extra money to get MCAs. Seriously, guys, I cannot tell you guys. Like, words I don't even explain. It's actually so good to vlog again about my car, and it's so good to, to work on cars again. Literally, you guys gone through with me, like, the emotions of working on cars, like going from angry to happy to mediocrely, this is not good enough, all through one video. Like, literally, fuel filter, fuck me. Even oil filter, taking that off, absolutely drained my life. Callovers was the easiest. I honestly thought that was going to be the hardest part of this whole video, but obviously not. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ham on the thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button because it notifies you every single time we release brand new videos. And don't forget, guys, share this video. I appreciate you guys. See you on the next video. I've got more 180 content coming and CRX content coming because the CRX is nearly done from paint, and I'm super excited to get it on the road.